But now let's do something more fun. Normally, when we host these demos, the options market is closed. But today, we get a route and order and see how it unfolds in real time. And again, this is a live trade. So let's place an options trade. Again, the three main tabs we use on the platform is positions, trade, and activity. Found here, here, here. To begin an option order, what we're going to do is begin in the trade tab. You also want to make sure that you're on table mode so you can see a traditional options chain. But let's have a quick view of what we're looking at. So these are all the different expiration cycles for this specific underlying, which is Netflix. In the middle, it will show you the days until expiration. And on the right side is the implied volatility and specific for this specific expiration and the expected move on the right side. And for any companies about to report earnings, we also have a purple line that shows you when they're going to report earnings. And the bell icon with an arrow to the right represents that they're reporting earnings after hours. If they're reporting in the pre-market, the arrow will be pointing to the left side. And once you determine which expiration you want to trade, just left click on it. And this will expand all the different strikes. So calls will be on the left side, puts will be on the right side. And we'll see all the premiums of the various contract pops up in the bid and ask columns. Now, the other headings at the top that have a dot to them, like here and here, these represents that they're interchangeable depending on what information you're looking for at the moment. For example, if I want to understand the liquidity issues, if there's going to be any liquidity issues getting in and out of a trade, I can left click on one of these headers and change it to volume or open interest like that. But if you want to view any Greeks or option Greeks, such as the Delta or Theta, you can certainly change it like that. And now you see any Greeks associated with that specific strike. And as we scroll through the options chain, there's additional information to help us select our strike. So you're going to see this horizontal orange line here that represent the strikes right at the money. And then you're also going to see these blue dash lines. And they represent the first and second standard deviations to see how far out the money the strikes are. But OK, let's go ahead and place that options order. We'll start off with a basic vertical call spread. And let's say we want to purchase this week's expirations. And we're bullish on the underlying. So maybe we want to buy the 490s and then sell against it the 495s, a five point wide spread. And remember, we buy at the ask and sell at the bid. Therefore, I will simply left click on the premium under the call side under the ask column to buy the 490. So right now it's 1.47. And then I want to sell against it the 495. So we sell at the bid. So I'm going to left click on the 0.77. Now, if you notice in the bottom left corner, these are the order ticket that pops up and our contract details. So we are buying to open one January 19, two days of expiration, 490 call. And then we're selling against it a contract of the 495 calls. STO is sell to open. And in the middle panel here, I can quickly adjust my limit order. If I want to move it up or down, maybe I want to get it for a bargain. Let's keep it at 55 cents. And then I can left click on review and send. Once I click on review and send, this is my second opportunity to make sure that I'm routing the trade in the correct, oh, the correct account, that this is the correct trade. And we can also review any commissions and fees associated with it as well. And once it looks good, I can go ahead and send the order to the market. We get a notification in the top left that the order is working. And we can locate the working order in multiple ways. So we can either go to the activity tabs on the right side panel, which is right here. Or we can locate it in activity right there below positions and trade. So both of these will show that working order on Netflix. Clear out those drawings. Now, if I want to replace the working order, all I have to do is first ensure that my order filter for working or pending orders is on in yellow, so I can display Netflix. And I can even filter it just for Netflix so that it only displays that underlying. If I right-click on the working order, it'll bring up a menu for me to replace. And if I'm trying to get filled, let me be a little bit more aggressive with my entry here. Maybe bring it up to 0.73. So I can either use the left and right arrows to move it up to 73, 
or I can highlight the current price and manually type in the order that I want. Once it looks good, I'm gonna hit review and send and then send the order. And then it looks like we got filled right there. So once the order has been filled, we get a notification top left and then it should now be in the positions tab. So if I now go back to positions, sort this in alphabetical order, locate Netflix, and we will see that here is the vertical spread we just placed. So the 490s and the 495 calls. Now I want to quickly highlight the strategy dropdown menu on the trade tab as well. So let's go back to trade. And then let's look at this strategy dropdown menu right here. So if I left click on the down arrow, it's going to expand all these different defined risk spreads. So you can change it from long to short, from a call to a put. And then once the strategy aligns with what you're looking for, you can hit go. And by default, it's just going to select some contracts for you. But you notice these buttons on the order ticket that will allow you to customize your strikes, the width of your spread, how many contracts you want, and the expiration of your trade. So if I want to change from a one lot to a two lot, there's a couple ways you can do this. You can left click on the quantity arrow, and you'll see that it's moving up to 10, 20, 30, however many you want. Or you can double click and then highlight the number in there. And maybe you want to do a 50 lot and hit enter. And now we have a 50 lot for each, each side of the trade. You can also increase the width of your spread. So if you want to instead do a 2.5 wide spread, you can click on the width and it will expand your trade. Let me unselect these. There we go. So now it's 7.5, now it's 12. If you want to make it more narrow, just click on the other west side. You can also move the strikes up and down manually like this or directly on the options chain. Right now it's on the 465s. I can left click, hold and drag it up and down directly on the options chain as well. And you're also going to see some other metrics on the order ticket right here. This shows you the probability of profit, the extrinsic value of those contracts, probability of making 50%, some Greeks, max profit loss, and the buying power effect for this trade. Since I already placed the vertical, what I'm going to do is click on this little red eraser to clear out my order ticket, which is right here. Clear. And now it's gone. 